welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to create a brand new project from scratch in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you've never worked with the program and you want to learn, this is for you. So let's go down to the dock. Let's find this Premiere Pro, give it a little, little click. It does a fun little bounce for you to let you know it's starting. Uh, this little window will come up for about 10 to 15 seconds, kind of depending on the speed of your computer, but it goes by quick. So there you go. And then it's going to prompt you to kind of a welcome screen. Now this screen comes up every single time you open the application, whether you have a project started or not. But since we don't, this is empty. So it says create new project. But if we did have a project already started that we've been working on, it would show up in this section kind of right here. And if you had two or three, all of them would show up in that section kind of stacked on top of each other. Um, generally organized by what you name the project. And then over here, kind of in the middle, it'll have uh, the last date and time you opened it. So the most recent will kind of float to the top, easy to find, they've, they've figured it out. Anyway, since we're empty, we're gonna start a new project right here, create new project, give it a little click, and then it's gonna present you to this new project window. First thing we're gonna do is let's title it. Uh, whatever you wanna name your project, whether it's a movie for grandma or whatever it may be, title it as you please. But for this example, I'm gonna title this starting out because we are starting out. So the next thing we should worry about is location, where you want everything stored. Um, by default, it kind of sets it in different places. I like it to be on my desktop, so I have easy access to it. And then in addition, when I'm ready to delete it all, I can I just grab it quickly and just dump the folder and call the day. So I'm going to browse, go to my desktop, where I've already created a folder called starting out. Give that a click and then click choose. So that's where everything's gonna go. So we've named it what we wanna name it and then we've placed it where we wanna place it. All this stuff should be default, ready to go. Just click okay and boom, here we go. So this is the main instrument panel for Adobe Premiere. It's kind of broken up into four sections. I'm gonna make this very easy to follow. I'm not gonna say anything too much. Let's we'll just go over the basics. You'll see the blue line around the edge of one panel. There's two panels, you'll see the blue line, three panels and then four panels. So basically four panels. A quick overview, this panel is the project panel. It's kind of where you import and store your video, your music, your sound effects, your photos, whatever fun stuff you wanna make your movie out of. That's kind of where you store it. Uh, this next window above it is called the source panel. Um, this is kind of where you're able to click on the items and see them before you import them into the timeline just to give you a little sample of what things are. Maybe if you wanna go over different takes or different options, that's kind of the place to view them without committing to anything. And then the next panel over here to the, to the top and to the right is the program panel. And this is gonna turn into kind of a viewer monitor. So when you're working on your project and you're editing and you're doing all your fun stuff and you're making it look fantastic, that is the panel where you're gonna to go to do to watch it to make sure you're doing a good job. You know what I mean? And then last but not least, is the timeline panel. So this is where you're gonna build your story. You're gonna build your movie, edit it, chop it, add the music, add the titles. This is where you're gonna string it all together. So that is the timeline panel. And the one last little tiny section, let's not forget about this little tiny sliver. So this little section right here are the tools. So these are all the tools you're gonna to use when you cut things together, separate them, move the music, lower them, whatever you need to do to edit it. Those are the tools you need to make it happen here in the timeline. But that's all I'm gonna say for this to keep it very simple. Now you know how to create a new project, how to name it, where to save it, and you have a very, very basic idea of what it at least looks like when you open the program. So in the next video, we're gonna to start to import some media and then we're gonna go from there.